The final assault. The pyramid lift takes your battle-weary soldiers deep below the planet's surface. They arrive in the heart of a large complex of tunnels and chambers. The alien brain is hidden somewhere in the labyrinth. It must be destroyed if the Earth is to be saved from alien enslavement. That's not true at all. The game can go indefinitely. You can only lose by doing trying this mission and failing. Which doesn't make sense either because you could just try again later. <laughs> but whatever. Pen solo. Prime your grenade. Yummy button who has no gun. Prime your grenade. Your grenade primed? Well, it is now. Alright, whatever, that'll do. They run together. Looks like it, that's good. Sometimes they can spawn in like completely dis different areas. Which is pretty awful, as you'd expect. I think it can only happen if you either get unlucky with spawns, because they always are supposed to spawn in these green areas, or if you have like way too many people. If you don't bring any tanks, you can bring 26 people on an Avenger, and it just runs out of spawn locations. So it just spawns you in random places. It's pretty crap. I'm just gonna fan out a little bit, throw down that smoke cover. We don't, you know, die. Get exploded. Smoking is bad for you. Not enough time units because you panicked. So yeah, all their um like energy, all of their health, their ammo, all of that is retained between the uh, topside mission and the, the mission down here. You panicked. Press the wrong button. <laughs> uh, and people with the blasters can actually stay topside. I think. That way I can just do supporting fire from up there. I say that as I move someone down with the blaster. Never mind, the people with the blasters are going to have to come down. We have too many people with blasters on this side. I don't really have much choice. Everyone on the right side is either panicked or with a blaster. Great. Actually no, take the bad line of sight, I don't want you shooting anything. We're getting shot. Oof. So top side was sectoids. Down here it's probably mostly ethereals. My game just crashed. Well, that hasn't happened before. Okay. <laughs> it, it got a chrysalid and it was so confused that the game crashed. Great. But yeah, so um, I'll just restart that real quick and make sure that it's showing up on the preview. Yep, alright, perfect. So uh, we're gonna have to do this again. Oops. I'm just gonna reload that. I don't wanna deal with this bullshit. Plus it's roughly the same result, regardless. Okay, we lost the dude. But yeah, we're just we're just gonna get it back to what it was right before. We're gonna abort, which means we progress, ironically. And then everyone pulls down their smoke grenades. Including the people with no gun. Unless they have no smoke grenade, in which case, you know, bad luck. I guess. And what was I saying before? Yeah, so topside is mostly sectoids. And by mostly, I mean, I think, as far as I know, it's all sectoids and uh, cyberdisks. Maybe sectopods as well. 
not a hundred percent sure. I'm sure you could look it up if you're really interested. Um, but bottom side is sort of a mix of a lot more things, I think. Um, I'm expecting to see chrysalids like we saw just there. I'm expecting to see celatids, which we haven't seen before. I think celatids are associated with either ethereals or mutons, and we haven't actually seen any mutons, which is interesting. Uh, mutons are like, along with side ethereals, are one of the two late game races. They're physically extremely tough. Um, their terror units are the best terror units in the game. And... Is this spawn different from before? Or did I just move differently? I'm not sure. Um, but yes, mutons are... They're the green dudes in the intro. For those of you who have seen the intro, I don't think I put it on stream before. Maybe, if I remember, I'll show the intro at the end after we're finished, which is <laughs> a little bit out of order, but oh well, you guys will live. I believe in you. This guy has no gun. The blaster in his backpack is empty, so he'll just sort of... I don't know, you can stand there and look pretty. If someone shoots, hopefully they shoot him first. That guy panicked. Smoke. Smoking is bad for you. Not enough time units because you panicked. Just making sure I wasn't muted this entire time, that would be awkward. Like, uh, hardware muted. But it looks like we're fine. I could have just checked in OBS, I don't know why I felt compelled to check the hardware switch. Uh yeah. Alright, you can just stand in the back. Don't want blasters accidentally firing. Looking is bad for you. But good for your health if you're getting shot at. So two people Wow. I thought we had another one in there that was panicked. I guess it was just the guy with no gun. I got him as I, I got them um, mixed up. This last guy, Han Solo, who's already been shot at, will hop over to the other side. And give a hand down there. Uh, I should have let him throw his grenade out, but it's a bit late now. I guess he can drop it on the ground. Sure. I wonder if it's going to crash again. That would suck. Yep. <laughs> this could be a problem. I know it's not something wrong with my game installation. I know it's not something wrong with any of the mods I've installed, because I've finished the game before multiple times, including one with all the mods I currently have. Hmm, okay. Um, guess we'll try it again. <sighs> oh, I should have shown the intro. Hang on, I can do that now. For those of you who haven't seen it, Micropose, who you might know from Mech Commander 1 and a bunch of other like games from roughly this time period. A bunch of good games. So these these green fellows, they're mutons. They never carry guns like that though. <laughs> so it's just really <laughs> kinda morbid. I guess the game itself is also kinda morbid though, so warning. Warning. Oh. UFO that high quality warning. And then I don't know, that guy has the chin strap in his mouth because that's how you wear a helmet. 
and they show a, a ship you can never make. And then, I don't know, they have like super jumping technology. You can see them wearing personal armor, which doesn't make any sense. Because they're using conventional weapons. They're not using like lasers or anything. Plus apparently they can jump really high. And uh, the aliens in the game cannot teleport like that. So, uh, the intro is very only loosely based on what actually happens in the game. <laughs> Alright, let's try this again. What I'm going to do this time is actually just send the tanks down alone and see if that makes it not crash. Because if it still crashes, then god, I don't know what to do. Short of playing the whole top of mission again, which I don't really want to do, because that's kind of a pain in the ass. Um, I think I... Hello. That's a solitude. Ladies and gentlemen, this little thing here, we haven't encountered it before. Because we went to Mars earlier than you usually do. But this is a solitude, I think. Wait, no, this is... I don't think this is a solitude, I think it's something else. Yeah, a solitude is like a giant floating jelly bean. In terms of its shape, this is something else. It's a similar name, but not the same. Alright, so just the tanks. Does the game still crash? Yes. Okay. Well, I was going to do this as like a bonus post playthrough thing, but. I might have to just do it now. There's a way to win the game on the first turn. Everyone with blasters, even if you wouldn't normally use them, you need to take them out now. Spare ammo I need to get. Basically, you just launch a blaster at the thing in the dark. It's... It, maybe you could call it an exploit. It's not like... Everything works as intended, like you're not abusing a glitch as such. You don't need the smoke grenade buddy, just activate that, chuck it over there, load your blaster. It's, well I guess it's easier to just show you guys what I mean. It's already loaded. Right. Anyone who has a plaza, just take a spare bomb. If you don't have one, and if you have many spares, just give your spares away to people who need them. I thought about putting it in her hand, but that would reduce her accuracy. Alright, good enough. So. Uh, in the dark, when you hover over stuff, you can like, sort of see their outlines. Um, so, I I know the brain is located on like the second level, so like, if you just go around throughout the whole level, you can, and I've done this before one time just to prove that I could do it, you can shoot the thing in the dark. So, it, uh, it pulsates in the silhouette, so we just need to like, I don't know. Start over here and just look for random pulsating stuff. We'll look for anything that looks like a bunch of chairs. Because it's in a room with a bunch of chairs. Can't tell what this is. God, this is frustrating. I don't want to have to end the game like this, but if it's just going to crash, then I don't know. Like I have many options. That's the edge of the map there, that's pretty small. Um, I might just chuck the tanks down. Just so I can get my bearings a little bit better. I have like a little bit of the map explored. Go out here. Thanks. 
All right, that helps. A little bit, not a lot. Um, anyone without a blaster on the side? No. You don't have a blaster. All right. Sprint down here. Reveal that for me. That'll just make it easier to navigate. You don't have a blaster either, but you don't have many time units. You don't have a blaster and you have plenty of time units, that's good. Just sort of sprint out this direction. Light up whatever you can, so that I just can see further. Okay, good, good. And one more volunteer. I'll no, just get you to do it then. Just run over here. Yeah, alright, that's an ethereal. Don't worry about him. We'll kill all his friends. Alright, that makes it a lot easier to navigate. Having like a few rooms active. Let's watch the edge of the map. Yeah. There's not enough room for it to be on the bottom right. The edge of the map. There. There's not enough room to be the top. Well, top right to the right side, so it must be somewhere top left. Let's see the map there. That's not very big actually, I thought the map was a lot bigger. Unless it goes down this way pretty far, but it doesn't. Interesting. Hopefully this exploit wasn't fixed, because otherwise I don't know how we're going to win the game. I apologize, this part's going to be pretty boring until I can find what I'm looking for. You guys will sort of get it when you see it. It's the only thing that pulsates on the whole map in the, um, in the silhouette. Um, is it possible to see these things in the dark? No, not really. Oh! Maybe, is that... I can't tell if that's the lift or not. I think maybe it's not. In which case, the search continues, because I can't use the lifts to find that. Uh... Mm, okay, what I could do is maybe... There's a, there's a small chance that one of these things that I'm seeing right now is the cause of the crashes, so I can just try to kill them with the blasters. I miss. It, it didn't die. Oh, okay. <laughs> Try another shot. Try to kill the one that's above first. Please don't miss. Well, it died, and everything's on fire, and you got the ethereal as well, which is nice. A nice bonus. Uh, if you have enough time units, please reload. If you do not, that's fine. I could need a belt. Can you reload? No, chuck it in your belt. Because I know that. Well, I don't know this for sure, but I th think these things can be a little glitchy, like these, I don't remember what they're called. They're not solitids, I don't think. But I think they can cause a few bugs. That's fine. Don't worry about it. As long as the game doesn't crash. 
If the game still crashes, then, you know, good lord, we're pretty screwed, but... Oh, hello. Oh, he's dead. Well, the game doesn't crash, question mark. And he's dead. Wants to party, please don't. Okay. That's the edge of the map, interesting. Well, keep walking. Get the things to keep exploring. I just need to. Holy shit, we killed that as well. That is a salted. You can see the corpse is a bit different. The dead salted. Uh, we just need to find. The alien brain. It might be in here actually. Hang on. This looks promising. The stream is very big. That's a sector pod. Let's not be there. That's a zombie. Uh, no, this is. Wait, maybe. Maybe it isn't here. Alright, let's have a look. <gasps> it's this. This pulsing thing right here. That's the brain. Uh, I don't really want to risk the game crashing. Hmm. But yeah, so there's a few ways that you can do it. There's a, a couple of lifts that get up there from this room. Um. <laughs> I believe the dirt walls around it are two tiles thick, which shouldn't be a problem. We have enough blaster shots to get around that little problem. So I could breach it from... Is that? Yeah. I could breach it from... Wow, this is a lot easier with the tank selected. From the side here? Oh, maybe it's only one thick. Yeah, if we reach it from this side, it looks like the wall is only one thick. Maybe. Oh, I could do this the proper way so you guys can see inside, but... I kind of just fucked us over by making sure that we go to the things that were making the game crash, so I'm very worried about our chances if we try to do it the proper way. Um, uh, I mean, it's not much to see, it's not much of a spectacle. Um, it's just a pulsing multicolored, well, not multicolored, it's sort of like a moon. Or like the moon, except this size, and it's pulsing, and it's colored with multicolored bits, like almost large gems on it on the surface of it. At least that's how it looks. Um, and it's in a room full of like chairs, sort of set up in a like if if as if the brain was giving a presentation. And like the rooms full of chairs, like you can see the the outline of one here and a whole bunch next to it in a row. Um, but yes, let us let us try and end the game the cheap way, because <laughs> you know, game crashes and other fun things are not actually that fun. Uh, bust in. Please don't mess. Alright, so now we have a way in. Maybe. Please don't miss. <laughs> that is a nice side effect, we destroyed all the grain in there. Oh, whatever. Just. You'll hit it. Alright, so it might be too thick after all. As in, two tiles thick. Not. Too thick as in can't get in thick. 
Alright, that's fine. We can work around that. We have a lot of ammo. Or maybe my guy missed, I don't know. But... You're directly in. Can't see it. Whatever, just shoot blind. I trust you. Okay. <laughs> Try again. Kobe, take the shot. Try not to miss. It's possible that we can't get in this way. But I don't think that's true. Okay, maybe we can't get in this way. Or maybe something's just blocking the shot, I'm not I'm not really sure. And Sol is gonna give it a shot. Actually, how many shots how many uh current blast shots do we have? Two? It looks like. Uh, three? Three, okay. I'll try and go for the guaranteed way in then. I know that there are doors on this side. And I know that the lifts are... There's one here and there's one here, they both lead directly up. I just need to figure out how to get in to the lifts. Oh yeah, I can see one there. So either that or this tile next to it is a lift. And there's one on the other side there. Yeah. Cause the um selection box changes. Yeah. Um well you know what, let's let's try once more. To get in through the sneaky side entrance. Like maybe we're just accidentally hitting something else on the way in, I don't know. Okay, maybe not. That exploded really quick. Alright, everyone reload. We will get the tank to look around. Uh, you cannot reload. You're so boned, I'm sorry. But it's for the good of mankind. We're losing like a handful of people to save everyone on Earth, apparently. God damn it. Please don't take care of anyone holding a blaster. Yeah, they're dead. Very dead. Uh, okay. They didn't do anything dumb. Which means the tank can still lead us to victory. Uh, don't die before you get around the corner. Okay. Can you open the door? Please? God damn it, not enough time units. Whatever. Second tank, maybe the second tank can get it done. Next turn. Uh, anyone who needs to reload who couldn't do it before, you can do it now. And we'll hope one of the tanks can open the door. Oh, wrong gun. Oh, not enough time units. Are you panicked, right? Okay. <laughs> That's way too many people getting mind controlled for my 
liking. Hey! Blocking the way. And there's a chrysalid below us. <laughs> ah, a guy with a blaster got mind controlled. It's fine. Okay. Hey, the tank didn't die. Yet. Hey, he's alive. Alright. Hello. Uh, the tank is gonna have to die here. Oh, unless he can make that shot, which he can. What a good boy. Okay, we know the sector pot is over here, so we're gonna have to route the shot around the other side. And we're gonna have to try and not hit the zombie in the way. <laughs> Plus there's a chrysalid down there, so he might get in the way too. Uh, hopefully we don't hit the tank. <laughs> I need to like make sure this is the right tile above. I think it's that one. Wait. Up the center? I think the center there is clear. There's the brain, at the back, okay. Looking good. Not oh, missed. That's fine, we have more shots. As long as we don't kill our own people who are holding the blasters, it's... It's pretty okay. So make sure it's the right tile. I think it's that one. <laughs> Up the middle, into the brain. Well... Just again, we will try another shot. Super Cthulhu, can you save the day? Can you bring us to victory? Hopefully the answer is yes. Just mark where it is with my finger so that I can say that it's probably there. Wait, what? My finger doesn't line up. Okay, it's probably there. <laughs> it's not very convincing, but it's the best I got. I'm shooting blind. Well. Oh. Did you fall down? No. Oh, you killed a chrysalid. Okay, that was the delay. Alright, well, this isn't going very well. Oh, the chrysalid got in the way of the shot, I think. That's why it's dead. Line this up. I think it's there. And into the brain. Again. Maybe this one will work. I don't know if that worked or not. But on the plus side, there's holes in the floor, so like now I can see where I'm aiming. I'm gonna just fire again. I don't know if the game ends right when you hit the brain. I'm, you might have to end the turn. And in case the brain isn't destroyed yet, I'm just gonna make sure it's dead by firing again. I don't need to go around that way. What am I doing? Over this way. And go through the floor. Into the brain. If it's still there. Da da da. Alright, it's definitely destroyed now. Look at all those secondary explosions. <laughs> And we'll just quickly save the game. Twitch? I'm gonna say Reddit, but you know. Discord. Alright, that's the end of the game. As you enter the chamber, you see the alien brain, the object of your quest. Before you can fire it, communication. Sorry, it communicates to you via a screen at its base. It implores you to listen to its arguments for survival before you make the decision to pull the trigger. Which is really dramatic. And like, it looks like it's just a thing covered in eyeballs, which is kind of super weird. 
Um, but in any case, this is this happens regardless of how you kill it. It's usually not accurate. It's usually not just a dude in the room. Anyway, the brain speaks. Many millions of years ago, the planet you call Mars was alive. The life was brought to a barren planet by our civilization as it was to yours. For millions of years, we have visited your planet and genetically developed your species. You cannot kill us. You are a part of us. As we admire this lizard thing looking off into... I don't even know, dude. Here is the center of Martian civilization, the pyramids built millions of years before yours by a species which is your ancestor. No planet is beyond our reach. This power could be yours before long. All we ask is your cooperation. And for some reason it's... No, it's like shooting off into the, s into the sky with its weird laser beam eyes. And instead of using UFOs that are actually present in the game, it uses ones that aren't. Or these, like, cutscene shots. Anyway, the alien brain is interrupted by a burst of hot plasma and the entire alien force is defeated. And of course on the screen it says no. <laughs> because, you know, that's what you do when you're getting shot by plasma. You, you say no. You're gonna die, you just, you say no. Funny bit about this is the first time I finished the game, I shot it with a laser, and I expected it to be a bit more authentic about how you killed it, but it always has plasma. Once the aliens have lost Mars, they have lost the Earth. Before long, the Exxon research allows humanity to flourish once more and claim Mars for itself. The alien menace has gone, but for how long? No one knows. And I'm not going to click just in case I mistime it. I'm just going to let it time out. I don't know if there's another slide or not. Nope, that's it. That's the end of the game. <laughs> it's a little anticlimactic way to end it, but... Yeah, when the game is crashing, it's... It's a lot more difficult to end it via normal means.